So, uh, how many people likes airplanes? <laughs> so, do you see what airplane is this? The F-35. The F-35. So, F-35 is kind of uh, one of the newest airplanes uh, in service. And one of the first problems people who are flying this encountered is that it buffets. So, many people don't know what buffet is. Uh, described by the pilots who usually who used to fly F-16s, like the older generation small fighters, they they tell people that uh, uh, this is a, a come from a Norwegian pilot who is one of the first people who fly this. Is that uh, this airplane shakes a lot when you pull at high G loads? That is when you are doing aggressive maneuvers. While the F-16 almost uh, never shakes. So the shaking at high G loads is uh, called uh, buffeting. So uh, the, the, the buffeting can be both useful and harmful. It's useful in the sense that it tells the pilot, OK, I'm pulling at pretty high loads or high angle of attacks. But sometimes it, it shakes so much that the pilot have trouble reading what's displayed on the screen, which is super bad if you are doing something uh, important. So why does airplanes buff it? So here is a comparison between a flight test and a numerical solution of partial differential equations. So what you see is that the vortex that is uh, shedding from over here, see that? This is the, this is the vortex. It initially is very coherent and uh, uh, you can also see this is very regular. It basically rolls like a, a, um, a, a string, and it bursts over here, right? So this is where it becomes irregular. It bursts over here. Basically, you have a lot of incoherent vortices that goes right past this vertical tail. So, it's the, so these vortices shakes the vertical tail that makes the airplane shake, OK? And of course, you can either obtain such information through flight tests, or you can obtain the similar kind of information using numerical methods for PDEs. The difference is that if you want to make improvements to the airplane, right, modifying the shape, and figure out how can I improve the buffeting problem. If you want to do flight tests, you have to build another airplane. If you want to solve numerical PDEs, you just have to perform another simulation, right? So this is a huge advantage for numerical solution of partial differential equations. That is one of the reasons why it is so useful in engineering, okay? Another example is in, for example, in turbine engines. So this is inside of a jet engine, what you'll see. The air goes through the many stages of the compressor, then it fits into a pretty small combustion chamber that burns. And after the combustion chamber, the power has to be extracted through uh, several rows of turbine blades. And the turbine blades historically has the most, causes the most trouble for, for people who are engineering designing these jet engines. For example, this is uh, uh, one of the turbine blades that are, it's actually a, a, like a stator, right, that gets taken out from an existing turbine engine. What you see is that, okay, so there is a lot of corrosion, but especially looking at the, this side, this is the trailing edge, where the flow goes from here to here. The trailing edge basically has been partially melted, right? So, so there is basically a chunk of material that is gone. They are melted. I mean, just to compare this with a brand new one that, of course, has a different design in terms of these, uh, uh, these, these uh, film cooling holes. But basically, you have a chunk of material missing. So why is that the case? Inside the turbine engines, the temperature over here is basically uh, as hot as you can make, right? The, the temperature actually is hotter than any the, the melting temperature of any metal you can put in. The reason these stay solid is because of these film cooling holes. You, you are basically injecting cooler air on the surface of the blade. So 
why does this melt? It's impossible to put a camera there to look at it because the camera is going to melt. It's impossible to put almost any instrument over there because it'll melt. Right, so, so how can somebody figure out why is this turbine blade suffering damage like this? Numerical simulations. So we solve partial differential equations that governs the flow, governs the uh, physics. And uh, it turns out that particularly these cooling holes that are injecting also coolant, basically through this series of rows, are not very effective. So basically, the, the higher, the redder temperature is hotter air, uh, the, the blue that is uh, basically uh, blocked by the horizontal bar. Yeah, the blue is cool, coolant air. So they get mixed up very quickly, and therefore the trading edge can still suffer from uh, uh, heat damage. So this is uh, uh, another, another reason numerical solution for this is important in engineering that lets people figure out, look into details of what is happening. Okay, so, so one is uh, for design purpose, like the previous case, and this is for analysis purpose, to figure out what's going on.